In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I welcome all of you on this beautiful morning as we come together for this wonderful occasion of uh, First Communion students who are having the opportunity to receive the body and blood of Christ, make their communion with the Lord for the first time. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful occasion. Deacon Bill just told me we're at 102, and I don't know if that's attendance or temperature. <laughs> I think I, we got a good crowd here this morning, and it's wonderful that we can come together in this time of prayer. As always, in order to prepare ourselves to make our communion with the Lord, receive the body and blood of Christ, we take a moment and we ask God to forgive our sins. Lord Jesus, you seek out the sinner and save the lost. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, in you we find peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give your church a share in your saving mission. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In a moment of silence, let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die. And you, not, you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way. The wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds. The, hawk, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me through, they tested me though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be are summed up in this saying, namely, 
you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor, hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, boys and girls. I am the new guy. Uh, my name is Father Byron. I'm a Clarician missionary, and I uh, just moved here uh, last week, so you know I have no idea where I am. I don't even know where my room is. But, you know, but there is something nice today. You know, it's so beautiful to see you guys, you know, ready to do your first communion. And I'm going to ask you, boys and girls, one thing. Raise your hand, raise your hand if you played a video game, boys and girls. Be honest. Right now, now is the time of the truth. Parents, please close your eyes. <laughs> Little kids, boys and girls, raise your hand if you play video games for more than one hour a day. Come on, Father Paul, you raise your hand too. <laughs> How about two hours? How about three hours? How about four hours? All right. Well, you know, five hours, and then you know it's like I'll get we get. It. The core? Okay. Um, so you know what's going on with video games. In video games, you know, you whatever it is, like I'm playing this one that's called Doom Blast. So basically you have all these blocks that you have to match the color and then you win and you make the bear happy. There's a bear that smiles there, you know, <laughs> and it's happy when, when we win and we pass the levels. But the thing is like we only get like five lives, you know, to play, what five chances to play. But then the video games give us this thing called the boosters. Are you familiar with that booster? You know, it's like this little thing, this little kind of a extra life or this lifeline that you can get so that you can make it through to the next level. Well, boys and girls, today, I think you are getting the best and the most beautiful booster you can have for your life. It is called this Eucharist. It is called that little round thing called the cross in which God promises something to you to be with you. Fix the microphone (laughs) (laughs) to be with you as you go through life. To be with you whenever you get like you know a tough day and your parents drive you crazy and you drive your parents crazy, Jesus is gonna be your booster. And that booster you can always get it. 
Today you're gonna get it for the first time here in Mass. And you can get it every day. And you can get it any Sunday. You know, 7.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m. here. <laughs> uh, but it is God who will be there with you to cheer you up. Just the way you are. Just the way you are. Because that's how God loves you. So today, this first communion is about you, boys and girls. It's about God finding another way to be with you and to be the best booster that you can be. Just like you have been a booster to your parents, to your grandparents, to your godparents, and to everybody in this room. So that's, to me, a reason to celebrate. That in life, we might find like a lot of bad days. In, fight, in life, sometimes people will drive us crazy in the school. At work, you know, sometimes our brothers or sisters, you know, will just start fighting and it's like we don't know why. And we feel like crying, we don't know why. <laughs> it's okay. It's normal. But may you always know that no matter what, there is a free booster here <laughs> for all of you. And we can come as we are. And may, I hope you remember that as you go through life. I hope you remember that as you become like teenagers and you become adults and you go to college and then you go to work and you create your own families. The booster will always be there. And you know, maybe one, one day you'll take your own kids to get their own booster. That's the best thing that you can give them. Just like your parents are giving them to you and you. Boys and girls, every time from now on, every time that you play a video game, or like see a game and see a booster, I hope you remember the best booster of them all. The Eucharist. Jesus. For you, and for you, and always for you. I had forgot to introduce Father Byron when we started because he was hiding behind a tree there. I can't see him. Uh -huh. But yeah, so he's, he's, he's a Claritian missionary. He's been a priest for two years, Byron, or three? Three years, for three years. This is his second assignment as a priest. He was working as our vocation director. And so he'll be here basically full time. You'll see him a lot. He's got lots of energy. So, you know, he'll be... You, 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 there won't be any, any secret when he's around, and so I'm really happy to have him here and also very grateful for Father Tony. So if any of you knew, probably Father Tony's now in Chicago with his assignment, basically trading places a little bit with, with Father Byron. So, We now affirm our faith, and I ask you, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it through Christ our Lord. Jesus told his followers that their prayers would not be in vain. Let us bring our prayers before the Lord. For the church, that we may be a community that continues Christ's mission of evangelization and reconciliation for those who are estranged, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For reconciliation among nations, that God will guide world leaders to speak the truth to one another find ways to resolve differences through dialogue. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For healing of racial injustice and an end to violence in our cities and neighborhoods, that Christians may work to restore relationships and communities, promote the dignity of each individual, and advocate for truth about the consequences of structures and policies. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For educational leaders, that God will give them wisdom and insight into providing safe and productive environments for students and staff, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic, that the Spirit will bring healing to all those that are ill, protect those who are vulnerable, and inspire the work workings for a cure and a vaccine, vaccination. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the children who will receive Jesus in the Eucharist today, that they will love him with all their hearts and always follow him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are recovering from Hurricane Laura and the wildfires, especially those that had to evacuate from the Shaver and Huntington Lake area, members of our community, that God will heal their pain, strengthen their hope, find them a place of shelter, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this Labor Day weekend, that God will renew and strengthen all who work to advance the good of society, protect them from harm, and help them to use their gifts and talents fully, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the Newman community, for all who have died, especially Phyllis Vieira and Nicholas Frazier, who died this week. For Kurt, Kurt Alexi and Maria and Cameron Peloso, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you sent your son Jesus to redeem the sinner and to call the wicked to repentance. Assist us by the power of your Holy Spirit to reform our lives and to seek the good of our neighbor above all things. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who gives us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. Paul and St. John Henry Newman, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. As most of you are aware, during Mass, uh, during this pan pandemic and our safety precautions, the distribution of uh, communion will take place after the final blessing, and we'll give you some instruction as to how that will happen uh, after our announcements, if you'd like to be seated for our announcements. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, before I, I do anything else, I, although you haven't quite gotten your booster yet, I want to congratulate all of you young ladies and, and young men for this wonderful occasion. So I think we should give them a round of applause. <laughs> Very grateful for having you here in our parish. Also, uh, as you probably noted, we have a, a new actor in town. Our Father Byron Macias, in case you're interested, is a native of Ecuador. And I think he's been in Chicago for the last couple of months or a year or two. Decade. De a decade? No, not that long. You're not that old. No, really. You'll notice, you'll notice he's a bundle of energy, which is wonderful because he's going to keep Deacon Bill and I hopping. Okay. Keep us young. It's the coffee. No, it's not the coffee. And that's why I brought this, my prop. I want you to see something. Look at the difference between Father Byron's chalice and the other chalice. It's not from the coffee. I gave you a secret away. No, I, 
I'm so grateful. We should all be for, for Father Byron and Father Paul and the presence of the Claritian uh, order in our, in our parish and our diocese. They're a wonderful addition. They do wonderful work. And we're just blessed to have them here. So again, thank you. Okay. Um, first of all, just a couple of announcements regarding what's been going on. As, as we know, we're going to have uh, communion uh, for the next two Sundays. No, one more. One more next, next Sunday at 9.30. So that we will have completed this year's first communicants. Uh, and we're, we're happy thanks to Sister Kathleen and uh, Mary Hill and Veronica and Christina and all of the other folks who've been instrumental in putting this together. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we've had, uh, again, one of the, the regular occurrences we have now is our food distribution on uh, Friday evenings at 5. And we, we had our second one this uh, last Friday. Very successful, better than the first weekend. So we're very grateful to Catholic Charities for providing food. And all those members of the food recovery program who have been assisting, we must have had about maybe 10 or 12 uh, teenagers with their parents here. We had a great crowd uh, distributing food. And, and thanks to Fresno Metro Ministry for providing us with fruit, uh, General Mills uh, Corporation for food as well. So uh, that's been going well. And we hope we can continue to serve our community, even though it seems a little bit uh, stunted at the time, but we're, we're working at it. Um, also, one of the things that uh, I would encourage you to do is if, if you're having trouble keeping up with some of the platforms that we're placing our notices on, please let us know. Uh, we don't have a communications director per se. We have people sharing that responsibility. So we're trying to put that team together. If there's some slot that's missing, please let us know so we can better serve you. Also, please remember uh, there is a, 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 an offertory basket at the end as you're leaving. We ask you to, to contribute and uh, I think that's it. Have I forgotten anything? Rosaries are still being uh, recited on Saturday night, virtually at five o'clock. Don't forget that as well. Okay, thank you again, and God bless you. Have a wonderful week. So, uh, some instructions for receiving communion just after the final blessing and dismissal. Deacon Bill and I will be distributing communion. And so at this time during the pandemic, Bishop Joseph has asked that we receive in our hands. If you, if you hold your hands with your fingers very straight, then it's quite easy to place the Eucharist in your hand without making contact. And then uh, sometimes, you know, for safety, we're more used to cupping our hands or we'll grab it real quickly and we just try to keep things such, safe as we can. So you do that and then you're coming forward with your mask on and after receiving the Eucharist, you can step to the side and remove your mask and then consume the Eucharist. And then the reason we have distribution of communion at the end of Mass is then to facilitate people can go ahead and return to their cars and we're not having to return to our places and, and congregate or anything. So we do the best we can. We're, I think, trying to be appropriately safe and at the same time have wonderful prayerful experiences. And so this morning was a great morning. Although I always say that one of my my uh, encouragements at First Communion Masses is, is the First Communion is really, really special, but I'm always particularly interested in the 52nd Communion. <laughs> and the reason for that is that you've come every Sunday for a year, and then on the anniversary of your First Communion, you're making your 52nd Communion after a year of coming to Mass. Sometimes it's easy to start, it's harder to keep going. And so uh, take advantage of the booster that Father Byron talked to you about. Please. The Lord be with you. With May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
And for those who join us in prayer on our streaming services, we pray this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And this is a reminder that for later.